visions of living in a dreamland Where everybody feeling everything to be seen And everybody wanna get along with everybody We all shine bright, we don't need Illuminati huh. We in the game where everybody's a different level Fighting different demons I see you being the demo waiting till you hit the online Nobody got the time to fight scared you might die Knuckle up, never front, play defense Gotta be number one in the pretense Young friends, go chalice, bold palette Painting a picture, you never got it, I get it I never set up a limit, Last I've been drinking to finish Inside of beautiful women, women, whatever I get I be happy with, bring a pattern I break it, leave a bandana split I Yo, what is up guys, Phasm here, and didn't Bandana Split just totally kill that track? <laughs> he is a uh, up-and-coming, uncopyrighted artist that I've been using way back since Black Ops 2, so if you were a subscriber around back towards my Prime, where I had that little phase where I was posting a 200 plus on Black Ops 2 every day, and kind of recognized his style of music and voice, make sure to you know recognize him and check him out. He's a very good artist, and I've been using him for a while. He has given me um, full permission to use his music, and I think he's a great guy. But anyways, the gameplay in the background for today is going to be a 198 kill game on Black Ops 2 on Raid with an A94 that I did get on stream last night, uh, and this was my first ever uh, session playing Black Ops 2 with support since I took my little hiatus, my little three month or almost four months actually, my little recreational break and where I was working and you know just having a good time with friends and everything like that. But anyways, I do have the commentary topic for, t for you guys today and before I want to get into that just make sure um, I sound okay because I do have a mad list right now, a list, see I can't even say the word, and uh, just bear with me. Like I said in my last video, I got new braces work, and it makes me sound like a little snotty nerd, so I uh, hope you guys will not mind that. Um, I did a oh, commentary earlier about the same topic, and I got like two minutes through it. I had to cut it because I sneezed or something, so then I, I was listening to it back, and I could hear my lisp so clearly, and it was really driving me crazy. So I, I threw a sock over my microphone, and hopefully that'll cut back on my lisp, but uh, just bear with me, guys. But anyways, past all that introduction. Like you guys know, I didn't play for like three weeks, and uh, you know, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. My topic for today's video is going to be, I got a speeding ticket. My first speeding ticket. Yep. I was driving down the road, and here's what happens. M me, I'm a Christian, so I go to church on Sunday nights for youth group, and it's a, f it's a fun time. Me and all guys, my age and girls, you know, we have high schoolers and middle schoolers. We all get together, and we hang out and worship and whatnot, and it's a fun time. So, you know, me and all my friends, after that, we wanted to hang out some more, so we decided to go drive and get some frozen yogurt. So everything was going great, and we decided to, you know, leave the church and head out to get frozen yogurt. Driving down um, our road, one of our roads is called the Rain. It is a very, uh, very long and slow road. And the speed limit is 35 on that road, and usually we go like 50 or 60 down it. So we were flying down that road. And um, that is actually not where I got my ticket. And then we turned on to one of the state road 70. Is uh, you know just, it's just a state route, and the speed limit on that road is 60. And my friend Dolan, you guys might have seen him comment on some of my videos. His gamer tag is like BSKT Basketball Player. He's a pretty cool guy. One of my good friends here in Florida. But anyways, me and him were kind of you know toying with each other, kind of cat and mousing back and forth down the road. And there's a pedestrian out ahead. And um, Dolan seems to be trying to trap me in between the pedestrian and him. The pedestrian was going to the speed limit, which was 60, and Dolan was going like 70 or 80, and we were kind of racing a little bit. And actually, we were pretty much racing full on, just full on free racing. So, anyways, I floored it to get past them, and the second I floored it, the lights went off, the sirens went off, and the cop jumped the median. He was coming at us from the opposite direction, jumped the median, and before we know it, we were being pulled over. And um, the cop, Dolan was in front of me, and the cop flew past me to get him first. So I was laughing, and my girlfriend was in the car. We were dying laughing. We were like, haha, we didn't get caught. Only Dolan did. And then all of a sudden, he gets out the car, yells at me to, you know, pull over with Dolan, and my heart just dropped. It's the worst feeling ever. It's just like knowing that I had her in the car, my girlfriend, and how much I care about her, and I put her, her, like, her life in, in uh, jeopardy and things like that. That got to me a lot, and thinking about how I'm going to tell my parents. So the first thing the cop does is hop, hop out the car, screaming his head off, cussing us out and stuff, and he's like, Do you guys know how fast you were going? And me and Dolan were like, um, no, not really. 
and we were we ended up we were going 96 in a 60, so we were going 36 miles over the speed limit, which is never ever a good idea. Going 96 miles an hour is not even really a good idea on the interstate, and um, I know I'm a young driver. I've only had my license for about two months now. And I'm trying to get all that out of my system. After my ticket, all my speed racer days are pretty much over. If I get another ticket, I might not be able to drive in Florida for the rest of my life. I'll get my license revoked, and that would be terrible. But anyways, back to the story. So, he pulled us over, and we were both, like, shaking. Dolan was in front of me, and me and Mackenzie were behind him in, in my car. And I drive a 2007 black Nissan Altima. 3.5 liter V6. I like it a lot, and uh, I don't have too much access to it right now. But anyways, all right, back to my story. I'm keeping the sidetracked. The cop comes out, yells at us a little bit, and then calls for backup. I don't really know why he calls for backup. We were two. I'm 16 and Dylan's 17. What are we gonna do? You know, pull a gun on him. But now that I think about it, he did kind of have some reason. Because why would someone be going 96 down a Segway 70 at like? What was it? It was like 8 o'clock, you know, someone, if anyone did that, they must be like on some drugs or tripping hard or something. So, I assume that's why you called for backup, but long story short, there ended up being like six or seven cops. There was two SUVs, the, the original SUV, or the original cop was in a, in a like sheriff SUV thing, and then there were like three or four normal troopers, just in their normal um, scout cars, and then there was one truck. And it was really like scary because it was really dark outside and all you could see were the lights in my, my rear view mirror. I just looked straight ahead, had this somber expression on my face. I didn't know what to do. The, the first thing the cop said when he pulled us over was like, do you guys want to go to jail? You guys should be in jail right now. Do you guys realize how fast you were going? And I did not realize how fast I was going and I regret that now. I regret making that decision to speed because it's not really worth it. I mean, it was fun at the time, but is that amount of fun really worth my penalty you know I got a $281 speeding ticket I can't drive to school for a month and I have no clue when I'll be able to do anything social and on top of all of that a few days later I got caught with stuff in my room but that is gonna be saved for another video so look forward to that anyways so that was not a good time I got the ticket I had to call my parents actually I texted my mom I was like um me and Dolan got pulled over need you here now and she said okay that's, that's how she replied so in the back of my head, I was like, is she not mad? I guess she's not that mad. But when she pulled up to the, to the parking, not to the parking, to the, the side of the road where we were, she talked to the cop a little bit, and the cop showed her the speedometer of how fast we were going. And she got really mad and scared. She was, like, freaking out. She said, you guys could have died so easily. And even though I felt like I had full, full control, in reality, when you were going that fast, one little bump in the road and you're gone. One little twig, stick, anything that can get in your way and cause a, a distraction or a, a, like a, can divert you off track and you're done. You're going that fast, anything can happen. So just, just be careful when you guys are on the road, it's really not worth it. I had to sit in a four hour traffic school last night to get the points off my license. Along with a $281 speeding ticket, I received four points on my Florida driver's license, and that will raise your insurance like a couple hundred dollars, make it skyrocket, and I'm not looking forward to paying that. So I took the class in order to try and remove the points off my license, and I believe if I do everything correctly, they the points will be removed off my license. And um, but anyways, all this would not have happened if I would have been able to make the smart decision and not floor my gas pedal to the floor and just make a stupid decision of trying to race the in the speed and, uh, you know, just trying to have a good time. But anyways, you'll notice how close this gameplay is right now, this little, uh, this little situation I'm in. Guys are all around me, I just keep spraying them down. And um, if you guys like this, these Black Ops 2 support gameplays, I can definitely bring some more in the future. The only major problem with them is that it's impossible to find a game and it's really irritating and makes me want to stop trying. Makes me want to give up because, you know, when I, I try and try and try to get these gameplays, but I, if I can't even get in a match, then what's the point of even, even trying? Like literally I'll sit in a lobby with, with a full party forever and not find anything. So it's really not, um, not very efficient for me to waste my time trying to find a gameplay while playing this. But I am, I have been streaming a lot more and I will be in the future so make sure to follow my stream still. I think I, today I received um, like 60 Twitch followers, which is great. I had a good time. I streamed Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3. And I got this gameplay, and uh, that's about it, really. I got a few decent gameplays, but nothing that I'm going to post. And um, if we can hit uh, 150 likes on this, I will post my video of 
me getting caught with marijuana. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to toss in my, my live reaction of choking the 200 plus after this because it's pretty funny. I didn't realize I was that close. Actually, I kind of did, but I didn't realize I was that close to you know getting the 200 plus and I actually choked by like that much. So anyways, my name is Phasm. Hope you guys enjoyed this and look out for more stories in the future. My, uh, yeah, peace. Come on, bro. Well, we can't worry about that right now. We need to worry about my storm getting kills. Come on, Swarm. Bring it home, baby. No! 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 <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> no! <laughs>